hi um i have to stop looking at myself <laughs> okay that's better cover up the camera uh that's better okay so i have a crazy uh premonition that uh we're all going to be living online and what happens outside of our homes is going to become the content and um, Canada where I'm living is scary because everybody wants to come here because they believe it's free and they can be themselves here but if I'm any indication of what you're moving into um, there's a lot of suicide here and um, that has to do with our healthcare system. It's not up to par with what refugees need when they come here um, or to North America. The entire continent is very far behind um, with modern medicine. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's free and uh, nobody's allowed to complain about it. Um, but I've been dealing with it for the past five years and I can tell you that it takes both medical and non-medical interventions to help yourself and get better. And um, if your family can't be there to help you, then you really need to be on your own. And you need to be able to trust yourself and your gut. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we have a lot more people living outside than we normally do. We have a lot more landlords raising rent and we have a lot more... Um, extremely prejudiced people who own land renting it to those who could never own it so we have to live within our boxes already um, it's not fair it's not free and it's not safe um, and um, I'm alive today because I'm white there's really no other rhyme or reason to it um, yeah I'm privileged and I was baptized, and I guess that is the reason I am saved. I don't get it. I never asked to be born. I didn't ask to be here. I didn't choose Canada. I didn't choose white. I didn't choose my lineage. I just was born into a very privileged situation, and with all of that privilege, I need to give that to you. If you need my voice, I will share it. If you need me to speak for you, I will speak for you. Please DM me um, on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on YouTube. I am not on LinkedIn or Twitter because they're evil. <laughs> um, and I have severe jaw pain. However, I will absolutely work through that pain in order to get your story heard. If that is what you need, because you deserve that. I love you no matter where you are on this world. And I hope that you see this and that you can heal inside and learn to love yourself for who you are um, because there's nothing wrong with you and you're beautiful. And if I had a red rose, I would be giving it to you right now. Um, you don't have to be beautiful. Um, you don't have to be a beast. You don't have to be either or or neither it's just you are you and that's amazing and the fact that you even exist is a blessing on this planet and for anybody of any caliber to tell you that you don't deserve to live they're wrong they are wrong and you are right please just know that in your soul in your heart um, that there's nothing wrong with you or who you love or who you want to become or who you knew you were when you were a child. There's nothing that was ever wrong with that. Um, we live in a society that is dictated by who procreates. And if the person procreating doesn't want somebody to tell them what to do, then they're not going to tell anybody else their truth. Um, it's very easy to take children away from parents right now. Um, it's very difficult for any biologically male person to have a child. Um, it's extremely easy for any biologically female person to have a child, and that's a problem. That's the equality we need to fix. 
that's the feminism I stand for as an AFAB person. Um, I was privileged to have a uterus that I do not use. So if there is a gay couple in the world that needs a surrogate, hi. If you are a single dad and you have always wanted a child and you know that you would be a great dad, hi. Um, if you are a mom and you don't want to have a husband and you think that you can do it all by yourself, then go do that. Um, nobody's stopping you. Everybody's stopping the men though, which I find really weird as a trans man um, because I can have a baby and everyone thinks that's really cool that I can have a, a, like a trans baby. Do you find that strange? that I'm being put on a pedestal and being in, being fantasized about because of how I look, yet the people who are fantasizing about me used to look like me. Blonde hair, really long, fair skin. Um, yeah, the LGBTQ community um, is vast and it is prideful and it is all over this planet and it doesn't include people who fantasize about people of another gender or of a different sexuality. That is really gross. And um, to be told that I'm beautiful by somebody who I would not be allowed to love is not fun. Um, to be told that I'm more beautiful as a woman than I am as a man is disgusting. Um, to be told that I'm not valid or worthy of the proper care because I just don't live close enough to it is unfair. Um, I live in Canada and I can go and find the care that I need and I don't have to be put into a hospital to find that care. Um, the best care that you can get for yourself costs money and it's not free. And uh, we've been convinced and conditioned to believe that going to any hospital will help us but most hospitals if not half of them in Canada are Roman Catholic if there is a saint in the city's name or in the hospital's name it's a conservative place they don't appreciate the LGBTQ community or anything we've ever been through it's not a validating experience you're not going to find help at those locations, and if anything, you will be pushed to more suicidal ideation that will be fixed with meds. Five years. I still have a uterus. I still have my period. Why? Why would you want me to abuse my child, have my child taken away, and then given to the woman who raised me so that she could do the same thing to my child that she did to me? That doesn't make any sense. Put the person responsible in the mental health facility, aka the mom. My mom. She needs to go to a psych ward. You should be filling out a form too for Marsha Van Groningen of St. Thomas. My mom. She lives right beside the hospital. Just go watch her house. She'll be at the hospital. She planned it all out for you, but instead of me being in the hospital, it's her this time. Do you see how that works? How she moved to a hospital location right beside a hospital that I don't go to anymore so that I could get the proper care, yet she's never asked me what I wanted or listened to my psychiatrist when he told her to back off. She moved closer to the hospital. I'm not sick. <laughs> she made me sick. It's very common. It's, it's documentable. Like, it's the reason why my doctors are not speaking to my mother and are not speaking to my biological sister. And that's my right as a person with a doctor who is an adult. I'm nearly 30. I don't need you. You don't need me. I don't need your help. I just need you to go and get yourself some help because the world needs you to be healthy. I don't. Thanks.